What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioWare 3 Raw TV. I got an email that I thought was an interesting email. And it said, uh, you know, now that the Miss Olympia, the bodybuilding portion of the Miss Olympia has been nixed, um, what is my thought on the state of women's bodybuilding? Now, I can just kind of give it to you raw. Um, I'll be honest with you that for most of the women female bodybuilding competitors, I don't like that look. I don't like it one bit. To me, it's very unfeminine. To me, it doesn't look appealing or attractive. And I know these women in person are a lot smaller than they are, or they look a lot smaller than they actually look on stage. They actually look a lot bigger on stage. But that being said, there are women like Linda Murray, who we interviewed on Geared Up Radio, who always had that feminine look no matter what. And there's people like, or women like uh, my friend Haley McNeff. Now, Haley, to me, epitomizes what, she's not competing anymore, um, what female bodybuilding should be. She was you know, round, she was full, she wasn't huge, she was very feminine, she was playful on stage with her posing, she was very pretty, you know, and she kept herself very like, uh, I don't know, kind of um, primed most of the year, training hard and trying to look good and not trying to like gain mass and, you know, to me that's what, you know, bodybuilding, women's bodybuilding should be. I mean, it's it's not really quite like the Rachel McGlish's and the Ch Kiki Alamonoma and those girls back in the day. Because it does have to progress, but I feel like once the uh, the Linda Murray, Corey Everson, you know, once that era hit, it should have stopped there. It shouldn't have gone any further than that. Hey, bro, what's up? You want to discuss the Miss Olympia? All right. So I don't think it should have gone past there whatsoever. Now, what was the point of it going to the point of going extinct? I mean, the same thing's happening with bodybuilding. We've talked about it before that. The physiques have been pushed so far that they've gotten absolutely downright fucking ugly. And at some point, you know, someone's going to say enough's enough and it's going to turn around and go the other way. The difference with the guys is, is people want to see the freak shows. They want to see that. Now there's a bigger audience that want to see the freaky guys than there is the women. There are girls that are women that were competing in bodybuilding have dropped to vigor and they look a lot better as figure. But some of the problems that we're seeing is once you fuck your face up with the drugs, there's no going back from that. You are fucked up from then on. We've seen, um, hey buddy, what are you doing? Yeah? Okay, cool. We saw a, a picture up recently of Denise Ratowski after she'd been arrested, and she had a goatee, which was very strange, I thought, um, and didn't even look like her. Now, she was on all kinds of other drugs, and she had a drug issue, and she's bipolar and all these other things, but that goatee is responsible for the drug use. And when we had Linda Murray on the show, um, on Geared Up, she spoke that, she, she talked a little bit about supplementation, but she said flat out she wasn't willing to go where the other girls were going because of the fact that she knew there was a life after bodybuilding and she didn't want to be like Denise Rutowski. You know, Denise Rutowski pushed the envelope, she gave Linda a run for her money, but here we are X amount of years later and she's got a goatee and looks terrible and Linda still looks absolutely beautiful and feminine. So there's definitely, um, you know, there's definitely a, a point where it was surpassed, you know, I mean, Linda also had the genetics, Denise didn't. So she had to push further with the drugs to make up for the genetics, just like in men's bodybuilding. Now you get to a point where some of the women now, not all of them, some of them, there's, there's a few, just not very many, but a few still feminine women bodybuilders around today. You get to the point where you go, it's not that it's just not marketable. It fucking scares people a lot of the time. I remember being in the elevator with um, Nicole Bass once. And I remember turning around and looking, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, I don't know who he is. I follow body. I don't know who this guy is. And when, she, when he, she walked out, I realized she had a ponytail. It dawned on me that it was a female. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, it looked kind of like a cross between, uh, you know, I don't want to make fun of her, but like, you know, um, Herman Munster from fucking the Munsters. Like, that's what she reminded me of, her square face, square jaw, like, you know, the same facial features. And I was like, what the fuck? And that wasn't that was my first in person um, uh, meeting with a female bodybuilder that wasn't natural. When I was competing in the natural organizations, natural women's bodybuilding they're not going to be that big. No matter how ripped they get, we got a girl. We had a girl named Abby that was shredded to her fucking socks. To take an expression from Louis Marco, shredded to her socks, but was still feminine. She was only like 118 pounds. I mean, that's that's how small she was, but she was shredded, still feminine. You know, they, there was a, definitely a point where. Some of these women did a little more drugs and they were rewarded for it on stage. They got rewarded for the look they had. So next thing you know, the other women see them and say, well, i got to be up to par with them. What are they doing? And they say, okay, okay, find out what they're doing somehow. And they say, okay, I'm going to do a little more than that 
but their bodies respond in a worse way. Next thing you know, they got a bloated belly, a fucked up face, acne, fucking, they have to shave their face every day, their voices drop, you know, five octaves so that you can't even tell. I mean, I personally know women from back in the day, friends of mine that um, had taken different steroids. They took Winstrol, they took Primabone, they took, uh, um, I think, small amounts of uh, testosterone propionating and things like that, that are, you know, supposed to be safe for women in small dosage and shit, and every single one of them, every single one of them, their voice is deepened in. That's just the luck of the draw, genetic-wise, whether that's going to happen, but it was, it's like you don't really notice it when you're hanging out with them, but then you call them, and they, their voicemail picks up, and you go, what the fuck? And then you realize, oh, shit, that's them on the voicemail. Wow, our voice has changed a lot. So you see that, you know, I think that if they had kept it toned down to where it didn't go, and even some of the physique girls, I'm going to tell you right now, Physique's in a bad way going in that fucking direction right now. And figure in a bad way is going in that direction. It's not just women's bodybuilding. You know, if they keep getting bigger and harder, eventually they're going to wind up being like little bodybuilders. And that look is going to not be appealing to the general public. <clears throat> you'll still get the muscle, muscle worship people. And you'll still get the people that think it's fucking cool to look at and stuff. But it's not going to be something you're going to be able to sell to the general public. And let's face facts, bodybuilding is a business. The whole sport is a business. I mean, you pay money, they make money. You try to make money off your physique. It's a business. It's a big machine. It all works together. And for a while, the figure competitors were getting all the ads. Then bikini came out when a figure was getting too hard and too big. And now, all the bikini girls are getting those. Okay? Same thing with bodybuilding. Bodybuilders used to get all the ads. And now when they get too swolled up and funky looking with big turtle shell bellies, now the physique guys are getting all those. And now some of the physique guys are getting too big. Some of the smaller physique guys are getting them. See what I'm saying? So... Um, it sucks that it has to go away, but the competition wasn't, in women's bodybuilding, the competition wasn't getting any fucking better. Hands down, it wasn't getting better. It was getting worse. People were looking, women were looking more and more fucked up, show by show, year by year, that, I mean, where do you, where do you draw the line? It had to be drawn somewhere, and the way they drew the line was, it's not bringing in as much money, it's not as popular numbers-wise, not as many women are wanting to fucking do it and try to be like that. So what's the point of having it around? It's a dying situation right now. Let's just yank it and cut it off at the, you know, cut it off at the knees and let physique take its place because physique is a lot more popular than bodybuilding is. And I can see physique being a lot more popular than bodybuilding ever was. There's a lot of women that I know that are be like, oh, I want to do physique, I want to do physique, I want to do physique. They would have never done bodybuilding. Never in a million years. There's a lot of girls I know, oh, I want to do figure, I want to do figure, I want to do figure. They never would have done fucking bodybuilding. You know, or bikini. You know, bikini doesn't really have the bodybuilding physique, but figure and uh, physique, some of those girls could actually cross over into bodybuilding when you see them, but they would never want to do bodybuilding because they don't want to go that far. They don't want to push it to the extreme. They want to look like that. They don't want their faces to look like that. They don't want to have wrecked health later on down the line where they're all fucked up with a goatee, not looking normal, having to shave their face and do weird shit like that, which it does happen. It doesn't happen to everyone, okay, but it does happen. You know, there's very few, far and few between where a woman bodybuilder will actually still look feminine, look pretty and look good, you know, and still be able to push the drugs or even take a little bit of drugs and it fucks them up. So my thing is I think that um, I honestly think they're doing the right thing right now by pulling women's bodybuilding so that it doesn't progress any worse, so that it doesn't, people don't hurt themselves any worse. Women don't hurt themselves anymore. And uh, in general, I think it's a, a healthier move all the way around for them to get rid of it now. And, you know, the federations are the ones to blame. They allowed it to go in this direction by rewarding a certain look that drove it in that direction. If they were re rewarding a softer, more feminine look and say we want less muscle, like more of a physique type physique, it wouldn't have gone in that direction. So technically it's not the, the women's fault who have gone in that route and taken it too far. It's the judging panel. It's the federation. It's the ones who allowed it to go that far, didn't put their foot down. And by the time they you know realized that shit you know, we can't do anything with this. We can't make it go backwards. How are we going to tell these girls to drop all that, that muscle mass? They're going to look fucking terrible when they drop that muscle mass because their bodies are beat to shit and they're a fucking walking pharmaceutical fucking pharmacy. Like, how, how are we going to do that? You know, and some of the ones can make the transition to physique. Some of them are not going to be able to make it because they're just simply too big, too far gone in their head. They're like, I'm not going to lose muscle. They get that kind of thing happening. So I think it was the right thing to do. I think it was time to do it. And I think that um, they stop some more collateral damage from happening by pulling it so as much as it sucks that it's happening because it was one of the two main that when they started mr olympia and miss olympia time goes by things evolve and it's a new time it's a new world and uh 
I think that it evolved to its peak. When past its peak, it started to go backwards, and they just decided enough's enough. Biowistertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowistertraining.com is a blog, and where it's the Miss Olympia Bicep, and we're out.